everyone, welcome to my channel Economics at a Glance. So everyone, all of you know that we are done with the chapters that is demand chapter and supply chapter. I have discussed the MCQs related to that chapter, the numericals, all I have covered. And today is the lecture 33, that means I have covered 32 lectures previously. Still you have not seen that lecture, so you can easily access through the pay playlist I have mentioned in the description box okay so let's get started guys today we will start a new chapter that is market structure okay so let's get started okay before moving to the market structure we first know that what do you mean by market okay clear okay see market means any place any place where the buyers and sellers of a particular good could meet with each other for the potential transaction to take place. Getting the definition, see, market, we cannot identify that in our general sabji bandi or our uh, mall. These are not only the markets, they are market, but they are not only the market. Market means any place where the buyers and sellers can meet each other for the potential transaction to take place. Okay, we can take example of Amazon, Flipkart. They are also, though it is an online platform, but still there what happens? Buyers and sellers meet each other for the potential transaction of that particular product. So that can also be called as a market. Okay, clear about market definition? Next we will study. See, market is there means competition will be there. Okay, so what kind of competition are there? What is the market structure? Let's start with that. See, there are basically two types of competition in a market. Either it will be perfect competition or it will be imperfect competition. See, the name shows that what the competition will be. Perfect competition means everything should be perfect. Imperfect means some perfection should not be there. Well, what it is, we will discuss very briefly. What, what is the character of perfect competition? What is the character of imperfect competition? And next onwards, we will deal with the exact thing, what exactly happens in every market structure. Okay, fine. So this lecture, I will only discuss the brief introduction about every type of market in a existing in a overall market. Clear? Okay. First is perfect competition. What happens in perfect competition? So, first one, that is perfect competitive market. What it is? See. Here are the characteristics of the perfect competitive market. We will go one by one. Okay, as I have already told, these are the brief introduction. Okay, we will go in details. So, first characteristics is large number of buyers and sellers. What happens here? See, in a market, always buyers are large number of because buyers are always large. But in perfect competitive market, what happens? Sellers are also large. What happens in this case? Sellers will be large number means they cannot control anything. One seller is doing any biasness means buyer will switch to another seller. Okay, this is the profit or benefit in case of perfect competitive market. That one is large number of buyers and sellers. Fine. Okay, next is homogeneous products. Well, what is homogeneous? Similar kind of products are there. We can say an example of, uh, let's say, agricultural markets. Agriculture market means in that market, only agricultural produce will be sold. We cannot say that in one market, agricultural products are there, textile garments are there, gold ornaments are there. No, only agricultural markets, only ornamental markets, homogeneous products. Okay. Next characteristics is free entry and exit of farms. What happens here generally uh, we know that to entry into a market or to make own place in a market we have to pay something or we have to make a license from the government. But here what happens there is no such thing. If you want to be there you can easily entry to the market. If you don't want to be there you can easily left from the market. Okay. Is that very cool? Yes. Yes. See, first one, large number of buyer sellers, homogeneous products, free entry and exit of farms. Next is no government intervention. That means whatever will be done by the, in the market, no role of government in that. All the price, quantity, arrival, all the activities will be decided by market committee. And that to market committee, how it will decide? 
depending upon the market demand and market supply what price need to be fixed what quantity arrival should be done what seasonal arrival should be done this all will be dependent upon the market committee and that too dependent upon the demand and supply structure of market okay next is no control over price what happens here i have told you there are many sellers as there are many sellers they cannot control over the price how see let's say what happens one seller is uh, intentionally increase the price okay to get more profit what happens all the buyers will switch to other sellers reversely what happens if one seller will decrease the price to attract all the customers what will happen he will be taken out of the market because the market is regulated by marketing committee what marketing committee will decide the price that price only be charged by all the sellers present in the market okay that is why they are called price taker it is very important for the jrf purpose who are preparing for any competitive exam the sellers in a perfect competitive market are price taker whatever price will be fixed they have to take it simply they cannot charge according to them clear okay next one is perfect mobility of resources and perfect knowledge okay whatever resources they can be perfectly mobile from one place to another place one place to another place means production place to market place okay or surplus place to scarcity place they are free to move and perfect knowledge means farmers and other agents they should have the perfect knowledge regarding the arrival price and integration scenario all the information should be available with them okay next one is output decision that means at what point you should decide how much output to be produced the point is decided by c where mr equals to mc equals to price where well, what is mr mr is your marginal revenue mc is the marginal cost well how we will decide in details we will discuss through graphs examples in the individual lecture when i will start individual lecture of only perfect competitive market but for now just remember output to be decided at a point where mr equals to mc equals to price clear okay La last one is there are large number of substitutes okay large number of substitutes you can take in the form of product also that means suppose rice price has been increased you can switch to wheat suppose one seller is charging higher price you can switch to next seller so large number of options are available for the buyers clear another thing i have to add here see nine characters you have studied okay when these two characters perfect mobility and perfect knowledge these are the characters which will provide another name to the perfect market that is called pure market okay that means if this uh, seven characters are there the upper seven characters the market is called perfect market apart from uh, sorry along with this seven characters if this two character perfect mobility and perfect knowledge if this two will be there that means the market is called as pure market okay that means perfect market is a subset of pure market getting the point clear perfect competitive market all of you clear okay next we will start the imperfect market that is monopoly oligopoly and monopolistic market okay now we will start what is monopoly oligopoly market i have told you imperfect market there are three markets monopoly oligopoly and monopolistic okay so first let's see what is monopoly let me tell you what i have discussed in the perfect competitive market all the characters exactly opposite character will be there in monopoly market see first one single seller we have studied there large number of buyers and sellers but here single seller okay just because of single seller it is monopoly market there will be only one seller just like railway electricity i have uh, given you the example here railway is controlled by one person one government there are no two to three sellers electricity same wise so when there is one seller we can say it is a monopoly market next one is no close substitute what was there in perfect competitor large number of substitute but here no close substitute are there 
whatever they will charge you have to pay see railway will uh, increase the price of uh, services could you tell no no we will not prefer railway you cannot have that options you have to pay that price whatever they have offered you yes or no so this there is no close substitutes next is control over price that's why it is price maker as i have told you it is very important question for any competitive exam for fair competitive market the seller or price taker in monopoly they will be price maker because they have the full power over the price getting the point next one is restriction in entry and exit of funds as i have told you there is one sole person do you think he will he or she will allow any other funds to enter because other funds will enter means obviously competition will start and no one wants competition in monopoly market so there is restriction in the entry and exit of funds okay and the examples that i have told you railway and electricity again i am telling the same thing how output will be decided what are the real life examples how graphically can be made i will discuss in details when i will start the individual lecture of monopoly market fine similarly next one see oligopoly it is another imperfect market what happens here few sellers that means we cannot say that large sellers are one seller in between that few sellers okay next one is same so some control we cannot say that uh, there is no control or there is full control there is some control okay next one is differentiated product different variety of products you can find here okay and the example is automobile markets you can have the lavish number of varieties yes or no and in case of computer also so these are oligopoly market okay still in oligopoly market there are different types of oligopoly market there are different situations different conditions which we will be discussed in the individual chapter of oligopoly market and last one remain is or sorry last one what remain monopoly oligopoly done what is next next one is monopolistic market see mono polistic market okay well i don't want to explain in details monopolistic market here because just for now you can uh, remember that monopolistic market is a combination of it is a combination of perfect market and monopoly market okay that means it has taken some characteristics of perfect market and some characteristics of monopoly market getting the point okay so you have done with all the characteristics brief introduction about every market that is perfect competitive market monopoly market oligopoly market and lastly monopolistic market well next onwards we will deal with individual market and what are the exact operations happening in that particular market till then if you have any difficulty in this chapters you are not, you are not getting any concept you are very free to ask in the comment box and i'm every time there to help you guys so till then stay with my channel and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel thank you